And well. Man at first. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Bob Banks, coming off a three homer game last night. So we'll see how he follows that one up. Now it's belted. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A gigantic blast. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They've got to be happy with the six runs they've thrown on the board. That's usually enough offense to win you the game, so they just have to keep doing what they're doing. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And one pitch. Make it yours. And a pitch. Gets a piece there, we will do it again. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Foul ball still 0-2. Hey, the pitch. That's a laser base hit. Here you go. Make the turn. Make the turn. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Bob Banks. Foul ball there. You know, these Dodgers, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra... Oh, now this is blasted! Way back there, on its way! Gone! A massive home run. And now, Bob Banks. He's already over twice, the last one back in the fifth. Just seems like he can't miss right now, seeing the baseball as well as anyone on the field. Now, I know the odds are against him, but who's going to bet against this guy right now? Scorch to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. That was blasted to the moon. Bottom of the inning, and now, Bob Banks. Piguero back to work. One, one, one. Hard hit right side. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Fastball groove right down the middle. Banks was outstanding in this ball game, helping them get the win. Three homers in this one, just amazing. Though well, they may want to change how they approach him next time because he was just incredible in this one. He looked like a threat every time he came up. Bob Banks steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one ripped. That's back there. And it is gone. That's his fourth home run of the series. Hey, here we go. Now that Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. At the belt and fires. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Headed for the plate. Here's the throw. He'll score easily. And they trail by one. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's. And a foul ball. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Warning track. Whoa. And you can touch them all, baseball man. Another homer. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Bob Banks. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Get him out of there. Wait for a good one now. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. 
Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He's putting on quite the show at the field. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. <laughs> Ready to go here. Now it's the DH, Christian Yelich. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. And that's in there at the knees. Just misses with that one. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, boo. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. Swing and a ball popped up. Go, you go, you go. Rojas makes the catch for the out, and there's one down. This is Bryce Terang. Terang. We're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty delivers. And there's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Come back into the mound. To first, two away here in the top of the first. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, William Contreras. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Bounce to the left side. Zips it across, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Bob Banks steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Coming off a good one, four for four yesterday. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, Back here at Dodger Stadium. Second inning set to go. And the batter will be the shortstop. Willie Adamas. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Way out front for strike two. And the pitch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Who I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And that one clips the corner. Banks, only 18 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round in 2023. Two outs. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. New inning getting started, and stepping in is the speedy Garrett Mitchell. There's a swing and a miss. Great velocity at 97 at the top of the zone. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. And that one hit to first. And he grabs it foul. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Really nice job working both sides of the plate for that strikeout. Started him off inside, then away, back inside again, and that one oh, set him up for that last pitch on the outside part of the plate that he just swung right through. Pretty smooth sequence right there. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Chop to third. Muncie. Tosses to first. And that quickly, two away. Joey Weimer up now for the Brewers. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. Ground ball right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. Two down, nobody on. Got him swinging. Three up, three. The bat, the designated hitter. Five, six. One down, one down. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Off the batter's eye and gone. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's Christian Yelich. Fought off foul. One, one, one. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Yelich out on the play. So digging in, Bryce Terang grounded out his first time. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And now. We go to the top of the fifth. Willie Adamas stands in. The shortstop takes a ball. Adamas goes six foot one, 215 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. up foul territory behind the plate and in foul ground he pulls it down one out now here's Jake Bowers that misses the zone and that is ball one this one in the air brings it in and there are two down two out space is empty and the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hoskins pushes it foul. The Brewers still looking for their first hit in this one. That clips the zone, and the count is 0-2. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Brewers go down quite. And we're back. All set for the top of the sixth. Up now for Milwaukee, Garrett Mitchell. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. And a swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he's showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. So all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Here comes a pinch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Got it by him for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Weaver now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. And a swing and a miss. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Here's a one-two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. On in order are the Brewers. 
They trail it here for nothing. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really... Bob Banks, the next to hit. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Bouncer to Hoskins. He handles it himself, inning over, although plenty of damage. Back here in L.A., now it's Christian Yelich. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Got no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Safe at second with a leadoff double. So the perfect game bid comes to an end, and now we'll see what he's got left in the tank and how to play it on the mound moving forward. But Singy, he's been a lot of fun to watch in this one. Yeah, Boog, really impressive from the very beginning. I mean, this guy was in total command the whole time, attacking hitters, and really he's made him look pretty lost up to this point. Smith makes the grab one away. And now it's William Contreras. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hayward makes the play, and there's two down. Willie Adamas will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Man at second. Inside just missed. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. And strike two. Still two and two after the foul ball. Runner at second, two down. Here in the third and final game of the series. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. No. Back here at Chavez Ravine, ready to begin the eighth. Now here is Jake Bowers. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's blown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. First out in the top of the eighth. Next for the Brewers, Reese Hoskins. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. 0-2 now as he swings through it. Next offering is outside. The Dodgers up big in this one, and we're in the top of the eighth. And they'll do it again. Watch up here, get a strikeout. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Late with the swing there. No ball, two strikes. Come on, big shoot. Two outs. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we go to the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. He swings and fouls one off. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. And the right hater deals. Just missed. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And another ball. Bounds it back with two strikes. 
Riding to the plate. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Here's the 2 2. Bounce to the right. Takes it himself. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. He's two outs away. Joey Weimer up now for the Brewers. Right through there for a strike. The Brewers with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the night. Lifted in the air now the left side. Hernandez pulls it down and there's two gone. Here's Yelich at the dish. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. They're down to their final strike. The Brewers down to their final strike. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And that one is lifted in the air. Coming on is Taylor. They'll squeeze it for the final out. And the Dodgers finish off a three-game sweep here in front of the home crowd. Shades of Ron Marischal in this one, Boob. Outstanding work on the mound. A one-hitter for your first MLB win. Thank mm -hmm. you.